Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How are y'all doing? Today is uh, Tuesday, October the 16th. Man, this October is flying by quick, isn't it? Still cold at my house. It's warming up slowly, but it's been raining all, I mean, all day long, all day yesterday. It's just raining and raining. So it's 47 degrees. It's warmed up a bit. Better than 43. I mean, just a little bit better, but it's still chilly and... Uh, I just made a big old pot of soup. <laughs> this is a good time to eat some soup, right? So I'm making a big pot of soup, vegetable beef soup. So that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. It's already getting kind of late, but we eat our dinner a little late around here. We don't have any kids anymore, so we can eat as late as we want. We used to have to eat at six o'clock. You people that have children that have to get up for school and everything, you got to get them to bed. So I remember those days we would eat at six, but it was fun having all the children at the table. It's good. Okay, I'm going to do a reading on, uh, let's see, I wrote his name down, Prince Muhammad bin Salman. He is the Saudi prince that um, is has been calling and talking to Trump and all, and uh, I guess... I guess it's Jared's friend, too. <laughs> He's Jared's friend. And now um, he said he has he had nothing to do with this guy's death, right? With this Jamal Khashoggi. He had nothing to do with his death. He's saying, you know, it, it's, at least that's what Trump is telling us he's saying. So I'm going to do a little reading on him. I just want to know, uh, you know, did he order the hit on this Jamal? Did he order the hit? So that's what I'm asking Spirit to tell me. And the first thing I got on the bottom of the deck, this is the flavor of the reading. And it's the hanged man. So, you know, that's indecision and stalling. So, maybe, 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 maybe. So he's stalling on uh, telling the truth. I don't know. Let's see. First card that I got for them. It's the lover's card. Yeah, maybe him and Trump are in love. No, I don't think so. This is about making choices. Okay, so I think um, he made the choice. He made the choice and uh, put a hit out on him. That's what I think this means. That's just about choices. And so I think he made, he did, he made the choice. He made the choice to have him killed. He probably, I mean, if I... Um, understand what happened was that Khashoggi went into the consulate for some paper that he needed to get married and they said come back on what was it on Tuesday or something whatever day at one o'clock so they had it all arranged they knew what they were going to do to him they knew they were going to murder him so it was a choice you know they really made a choice so that's what that to me to me that's what it means and then crossing over that card is this one, the Hierophant. And uh, this is morality and ethics, okay? So I think in one way or another, even if he doesn't have to answer to, um, you know, the United States or another government, he will answer to a higher power. He will have to answer to a higher power. So I think, I think that's what this card means. <clears throat> I don't think we go to hell. I don't believe that. But he will have to answer, you know, one way or another. He's ha He'll have to learn his lesson somehow. God only knows how. Overlooking the situation is Ace of Swords. Look, there's the crown. There's the crown. This is about, this is excess power and corruption. That's what this card means, overlooking this situation. Okay. Excess power and corruption. That's the Saudis. That is the truth, isn't it? Man. Foundation of the situation, Knight of Swords. So he made a really quick decision about having him killed. Boom. He made a quick decision. And maybe he's going to have to deal with all the consequences now because he didn't really think that all the way through. He just rushed to it. In his past position is the Two of Swords. Again, this is about choices, so this was probably the choice that he made to have him killed, and uh, he just didn't, um, you know, he was blind to see 
you know, how much the media was going to focus on this and how much attention that it would get. Or maybe, maybe he's so rich and powerful he doesn't really care. I don't know. Possibly. Here's his uh, future card. The High Priestess. So, this is about, I think, secrets coming out. Some knowledge that we have no knowledge of will come out. <laughs> so secret knowledge. This is secret knowledge will be coming out soon. So we're going to know what happened. We're going to know exactly what happened and who knew what. So the secret knowledge is coming out. All the secrets. This is his state of mind. This is Five of Cups. So he might be having a little bit of regret. From Maybe he doesn't regret killing him, but maybe... Maybe this crown prince is having regret in the way he handled it, you know, because he's getting so much attention for it. So I think he may be having some regret of, you know, the way it was handled and the way it's turned out. Maybe he regrets the way it turned out, not regret having him killed. They do whatever they want, you know. <laughs> if you say anything against them, they'll have you killed. I hope they don't have me killed. If I go... If I go missing, y'all, y'all go, uh, go to Saudi and look for me. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> this is a Queen of Wands. Um, so this is a reflection of him. He's just, he's a courageous guy. He's bold, self-centered, and very determined. He want he, he wants what he wants, and he's gonna get what he wants. And I'll bet, I bet he has a hot temper because this is a fiery, you know, wands. So I bet he has a really bad temper. That's what I think. I'm not going to give him anything good. He's got enough money. I don't have to say nothing nice about him. He's got everything he wants and needs. <laughs> All right. This is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is his fear card. This is in his fear position. And I think his fear would be that um, probably, since this is more like patience, so his fear is that, he should have had more patience. He should have planned it out and had more patience. So he's he's fearing that he didn't have enough patience, I guess. Right? Not that he cares. I don't think he really fears that much of anything, but probably doesn't want to be seen um, in front of the whole world as having executed somebody. He wanted to have it done, but maybe he didn't want to... Be, have anybody point the finger at him, you know, so I'm thinking his fear is that He had he should have had some more patience. This is it's a good card for him This is the outcome card, and this is the star and so we know all this trouble is gonna pass for him It's all gonna pass and not not gonna make a bit of difference in his life at all Because you know he has a wonderful life. He's got more money than we can ever, ever imagine. And he's just blessed with everything that we can't imagine. I mean, he's got the kind of life that nobody could really imagine it. So nothing's going to be done about the Khashoggi's death. And he's just going to keep on keeping on and have this good, happy life. This, this is just going to blow over. It's going to pass. Nothing's going to happen, especially with Trump in office. Okay, so that was my reading for this little princey boy. I don't know, this crown prince. I have never even laid eyes on him. I don't even know what he looks like or nothing. I just read what his name was. I looked up his name and wrote it down and read it. I, I, I know nothing about him. I haven't read anything about him. I know nothing. I like to do cold readings and just see what the cards say. So This is just kind of fun, y'all. But uh, that's that's what I got, so... If you guys like my readings, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified of the next reading. If you guys want a reading on somebody else, um, just leave me a message. Tell me who y'all want to y'all want to read on. I don't know who to read on anymore. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. So just let me know what y'all want to um, hear. Whatever, whoever y'all want me to read on, just tell me. Okay, leave me some messages. I need some feedback, y'all. <laughs> Give me some direction. I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all so much. I thank y'all for your messages. I always read them. It's fun. And I appreciate them. 
really appreciate them a lot. You guys are terrific. And I'm doing a lot of readings for y'all too. I love doing readings for y'all. I love it. It's so much fun. And the, this is the reading that I do, the Celtic Cross 10 card tarot reading. So if you want one of these readings, just contact me. My email's down below. Just contact me and um, we'll fix it up. We'll get it. We'll get it going, okay? I really appreciate it. All right, guys. So do something kind for somebody either tomorrow or tonight. Depends on when you're seeing this, right? <laughs> but it'll come back to you. All the good that you put out in the world comes back to you. So do something kind for somebody, okay? All right. Love you guys. Thank you very much. See you next time.